Hey, hey, my name is Art Flyer. I am a full-time email marketer. And as you can see, last year as an affiliate, I made $102,000. And as a vendor, I made $541,000, all of it using email marketing. Okay, so in this video, I will show you top 10 email marketing tips and top 10 email marketing best practices. I will actually log into my accounts. I will show you the exact emails, the exact campaigns, exact conversion rates. I'll show you everything there is to know uh, about email marketing in 2021 and 2020. To, so as you can see, this will be email marketing top tips plus best practices. Guys, before we're gonna jump into the content of this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, subscribe to Art of Marketing blog if you are into email marketing or making money online, working from home, traffic generation, anything related to digital marketing or making money online. I'm always recording free videos for you guys, so make sure to subscribe. And actually, let me give away $10 in cash right now. If you wanna win $10 in cash right now, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell and leave me a comment. And in the comment, just type in email marketing and and I'll be revealing the winner of the previous giveaway in the end of this video. And right now, uh, do these four things to enter this giveaway. So guys, before we are going to start, uh, if you are doing email marketing, you will need an uh, email autoresponder. If you don't know what it is, it is essentially a piece of software that allows you to send uh, thousands of emails at the same time. So uh, it's not about sending email from your Gmail or Yahoo account. This is all about professional email marketing and making money this way. So uh, there are a bunch of different email uh, autoresponders software. So obviously we have Active Campaign, we have Aweber, we have GetResponse, we have ConvertKit, MailChimp, Constant Contact, a bunch of other ones. And I'm actually going to show you which ones I'm using. So I'm actually using three different ones currently. I've used probably a dozen over the years. I will show you exactly which ones to use in the end of this video. Okay, so this is just something uh, that I wanted to mention right now. Uh, and let's jump into the top 10 tips. So guys, first of all, tip number one is having a targeted email list and also segmenting. So what does it mean? First of all, if you are making money in different niches you definitely need uh, lists in different niches so let's say uh, you would have one list for making money online one list for fitness one list for weight loss etc okay so you can't just build one list of subscribers interested in different subjects and then email them about random things you have to segment your list and uh, just keep it segmented according to the niches so obviously this is uh, one way to segment your list another one is to have lists for different products so i'm releasing products uh, probably every three to four weeks so i have a list for every single product so i know exactly which a product this person got from me but not only that i also have different lists for buyers different lists for uh, coaching students different lists for uh, free subscribers for people that got a free gift etc so uh, you definitely have to segment as much as possible and uh, this is not just for you to know what kind of subscribers you have but also while you are sending emails it's very important to send uh, emails to the right audience, okay? So let's say you have three lists. Uh, all three will be in the Make Money Online category, but one uh, list is interested in YouTube, one in Instagram, and one in Twitter. Uh, so obviously, if you're going to be emailing them about a product that you're promoting uh, that is related to YouTube, I would suggest only email the people that are interested into YouTube. This way you will make much more sales, is much more targeted and uh, you're not bothering other people. They might be interested, but if it's something like totally uh, not related to YouTube, then they will be not interested and your open rate go down, your click for rate will go down and it will affect your stats in the long run. So just uh, niche down and uh, just segment your list as much as possible not only while building your list, but also while sending your emails. And another very important thing is that you do have to separate buyers from free email subscribers, okay? So uh, we will talk about this in just a second, but this is the basic idea. Have different lists of people that bought your products and different lists uh, of people that are free subscribers that maybe uh, subscribe because they got a, a free report or a free video or something. Very, very important because actually a buyer's list will make you 10 times 
times more money. So that was tip number one. Tip number two is focus on a buyer's list. So guys, buyers will spend 10 times more with you. So, so a list of a thousand buyers will make you much more than a list of 10,000 freebie seekers, okay? That's why you should always focus on a buyer's list. Uh, why buyers make you more money? Because they know, like, and trust you, okay? So if they bought a product for you, whatever they spend, even if they just bought something for as low as a dollar for you, uh, first of all, uh, if someone will buy something, Something from you they will actually go through it so if you're opting in to get a free gift how many different free gifts did you opt in for did you op actually open this uh, free gift did you go through it probably not so people have just dozens and dozens of different freebies on their hard drive or you know in their email they never check it out but if they are actually paying even a dollar they will be more likely to open it go through it implement it and then they will know like and trust you that's why they will be willing to listen to your recommendations from this point on now if you have a buyer's list of a thousand people, it actually costs you less to manage because uh, you will have to pay less to uh, have an autoresponder list of a thousand people versus 10,000 people, okay? So a buyer's list is uh, costing you less to manage and it will make you more money every single month. Now, the cool thing that you also have to focus on is that you can always move free subscribers to your buyer's list once they buy something from you, okay? So uh, there's a way to automate. I will show you uh, the automations in just a minute, but just keep in mind, even if you have a free list, uh, probably the first five to seven emails should be uh, just selling, you, so selling them your own product and then once they buy you can just move them from the free list to the buyers list and then obviously you will be emailing them in a totally different way so just something to keep in mind number three automate your email so what does this mean you don't have to send manual emails every single time you want to reach out to your list first of all you have welcome emails so these are the emails that uh, people will receive after opting in so obviously you don't want to be sending them uh, manually uh, you can use the different email sequences which means that you can have a sequence of seven emails or 15 emails or even 30 emails and the exact sequence you want them uh, going out to your email list so again uh, this will be different depending of uh, if it's a buyer's list if it's a free list if it's a list of your coaching students etc but you can automate it all you don't have to send emails uh, by hand now obviously you can automate your emails you can also automate the reply so I'm actually going to log into my accounts and show you how to automate replies as well. Uh, but this just saves you so much time. It saves you so much stress. And uh, it actually makes sure that every single person that uh, replies to you and you want them to uh, get a reply from you, that they will actually get it. So uh, if you would be doing this manually, uh, you can miss things this way. It is 100% automated and every person is taken care of. Now, another thing is moving subs from list to list. So I just talked about this when it comes to freebie seekers and buyers. When someone is on your free list and they buy something, you can just automate uh, the moving from one list to another, which means that uh, you don't have to do this manually. You don't have to delete uh, any subscribers. You just have to uh, set up an automation and uh, these people will be moved instantly from your freebie seekers list to your buyers list. And all you have to do is just set this up once and forget about it. Number four, personalize your email. So uh, the more personal you can get with each and every subscribers, the better. So obviously you can't be sending emails one by one, but you can automate things like first name maybe in the subject line you can mention the product name uh, that they got from you this always helps uh, so let's say my last product that i released was 4k in a day so if i'm emailing them uh, the buyers with something i will mention the name in the subject line so this is a, a way to personalize you can also use a location so this is something that most email marketers don't think about but actually when someone subscribes uh, to your list you will get a bunch of information You'll get their first name, their last name, uh, you'll get the country of residence, sometimes even a city, uh, their IP address, stuff like this. So you can actually add uh, the city that they are from or the country that they are from into your email, automate it, and uh, this way you can say, hey, 
I, I see that you are living in whatever, Portugal, Spain, France, uh, Italy. This is something that will really help you out when it comes to personalization. Uh, this will actually look like an actual email from you, uh, but it's not, it is all automated and this is just something to keep in mind. And another huge thing is that you have to have your avatar of your uh, email subscriber, okay? So we need to know more or less who this person is, okay? Is it a man? Is it a woman? How old are they? You know, is it a teenager? If it's like, you know, someone of 30 uh, plus, if, uh, maybe they are 60 plus. So you really have to uh, know who your email subscribers are. And then obviously you'll be talking differently to a teenager versus to someone that is 60 years old. So just make sure that you have your avatar. What are their pains? Uh, what do they want? Do they want to make money online? Are they interested in fitness? Do they want to uh, lose some weight? etc okay so build your email subscriber avatar number five think of mobile email users okay so guys probably 60 to 70 percent of emails are opened on a mobile device on a tablet on a smartphone that's why you always have to think about things like email layout uh, because obviously when when you're scrolling on your smartphone uh, the email will look different versus on how it looks on a computer if you're including graphics you always have to think about it if you're including links uh, you have to think about this as well you can use buttons or not but if you are using buttons they have to be big enough so when someone is looking uh, at your email on a smartphone the the button has to be big enough for them to actually tap on the button it can be too small and also the length of the emails okay we'll talk about that in detail in just a second but uh, your email can be just you know going on and on and on so people uh, you know swipe and swipe and swipe uh, this is something all to think about while uh, preparing your email 60 to 70 percent will actually read your email on a mobile device number six killer subject line and email copy so guys so if you will skip this step people simply won't open your email okay people are being bombarded by emails every single day how many emails are you getting every single day i'm getting probably you know 30 to 40 to 50 emails every single day if it doesn't have a killer subject line i probably won't open it and if someone won't open your uh, email they won't read the rest they won't click on the link and they will not buy whatever you are selling okay so when it comes to a subject line keep it short and sweet uh, to the point uh, actually most people don't think about it but your from name is also very important so make sure that uh, the person that is getting the email from you actually recognizes you uh, did they buy a product from you did they opt in uh, for a free course or a free gift so the from name is very very important as well uh, you can use curiosity in the uh, subject line okay so uh, i will show you some exact examples from my own accounts uh, but just use curiosity uh, you can uh, tell exactly what's on the inside so if you have a free gift uh, just add a free gift inside to your email copy so you can use curiosity or tell them exactly what's on the inside okay two different approaches you can use emojis this is a great way to actually stand out i use emojis every single day in my emails and if I have an emoji that uh, really correlates to uh, whatever uh, I'm, I'm writing about, it uh, helps even further. So use emojis. Most people don't use them, by the way. Uh, talk about a pain. So uh, you can use a subject line uh, saying, don't you hate when X happens? And uh, then obviously inside the email you will have uh you'll be, we'll be solving that problem okay so uh, talking about a pain always helps to write better subject lines and also use uh, a question mark so it can be a question uh, even if it's not a question just use a question mark in the end just to uh, throw the person off so they think okay what is this email about let me check it out okay so it can be actually a question like don't you hate when x happens or uh, it can be ten thousand dollars and a question mark so uh, it really boosts the curiosity and uh, it will really really affect your open rates next up when to send your email so uh, you really have to uh, figure this out only once okay so for me for my list i already figured out that the earlier i send it throughout the day the better so 
I don't really test it anymore because I already did, but you have to think about world time, okay? So you have to think where you are located versus uh, where your subscribers are located. So maybe you are located in the US, but most of your subscribers are in Australia. You really have to think about this. You can always split test to see uh, which kind of hours during the day get the best open, right? So split test, split test, split test until you figure this out once. And then from this point on, uh, you can just uh, continue doing whatever is working now who is on your list so when it comes to who is on your list it's not only about a country it's obviously uh, you know the morning hour will be different in the US in Europe in Australia in India etc but also you have to know your avatar like we talked about so uh, are your email subscribers business owners that are you know next to a computer all day or maybe they are uh, working a full-time job and they are trying to uh, lose weight after they are done with work. So in this case, they would be opening your emails like at 6 p.m., 7 p.m. versus maybe 10 a.m. So really think about who is on your list, where they are located, and uh, what is the best time to send an email to them. Again, in general, I think morning is better. I've tested this extensively, uh, but maybe because my list is, generally speaking, people that are interested in making money online, maybe they're already running an online business. That's why, uh, in a nutshell, they are always around the computer. And uh, you know, whenever I send an email, they always open. So uh, sending an email earlier uh, just gives them more time to open it. That's why the open rate is higher but again test 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 and you will come up with your perfect hour number eight use a ps so most professional email marketers use ps most non-professional email marketers don't use a ps so uh, i use a ps on all my emails and normally if you're going to test it you will see that 60 percent of clicks come from the ps okay so uh, I normally use three different links in my emails and it's always the same link. So when it comes to adding links to your emails, I would recommend adding two or three links and definitely one has to be in the PS and one has to be uh, located somewhere next to the top. So again, if you're gonna test it, you will see that 60% of clicks will come from the PS. So this is the link that will get the most clicks. It can really increase your click for rate. Obviously what we want is open clicks and then sales uh, so in a nutshell you will make more sales this way at a ps you know sometimes people are just skimming through the whole email and really the only thing that they are reading is uh, the ps now another cool thing is that you can actually add the subject line in the ps so if someone already opened your email it means that they are interested in the subject line if you have the same subject line in the ps they will probably click on it because they already opened the email and they are interested in it so use a ps number nine test each email before you send so uh, make sure that all of your emails are perfect okay when it comes to the uh, spam score uh, you can just send it to yourself send it to an additional email you have send it to your wife to your friend and check uh, first of all is the email layout working especially if you have graphics if you have links make sure it all works that is formatted in the uh, right way make sure the links are working because sometimes you can uh, just miss one letter in a url and the link will not work so just make sure that everything is clickable when it comes to images the same if you're adding links to your images make sure they work make sure they actually go to the link that you want uh, to send your subscribers to so uh, it, it will take you probably a minute just send an email to yourself before uh, you will send it to thousands of people make sure everything works and number 10 save your best emails and your best subjects so this is probably one of the best advice that i can give you okay so create a swipe folder and if an email that you've sent worked if it got a high open rate or a high click for rate or it made you a lot of money just keep the best subject lines keep the best email so uh I, I can't really tell you how many times I used the same exact email with the same exact subject line and it still made me money. Obviously, you won't be doing this day after day, but you can do this, uh, you know, a month later, three months later, six months later. So uh, also save the dates. So you know exactly when was the last time that you used this subject line or these emails and just save your best promotions. You know, if something made you money today, if you made a thousand dollars from an email, save this exact email, save this exact promotion and try it three months later. I guarantee you that it will still make you money uh, because obviously 
first of all people forget about the emails that you've sent months ago and uh, secondly you will have new subscribers on your list and uh, some of the old subscribers will unsubscribe so your list will always keep on renewing itself and uh, this is the way to uh, just focus on profits and make the most out of your email list okay so that was the top 10 but i have a bonus for you a bonus tip is clean your list okay this is super super important obviously you want to have the highest open rate possible this will really affect uh, how much opens and how many clicks you're getting in the long run so uh, first of all delete your unsubscribers there's no reason for you to have people that are unsubscribed uh, on your autoresponder uh, you are actually paying for your unsubscribers as well so you know just just clean it if you're gonna have uh, you know a thousand unsubscribers two thousand five thousand unsubscribers there's no reason for you to pay for them so just delete all of your unsubscribers and delete all of the unopeners so what does it mean every single autoresponder will actually track all of the people that open your emails if they didn't open your email for the past three months uh, just delete them you know if, if they didn't especially if you're emailing people every single day okay so maybe if you're emailing people once a week or you know once every two weeks uh, you can stretch it out to six months but if someone is uh, not opening for three months and you email them every single day then they are probably not interested maybe uh, it's, it's, it's an email that they are not using anymore uh, maybe uh, you know there's a typo in the email so uh, again, you don't really have to pay for people uh, that are on your list, but are not opening and you don't get the engagement or another thing is that you can actually try to re-engage them. Okay, so move them from uh, your normal list to a list that will need a re-engagement campaign and try to re-engage them. Okay, uh, normally I would say 20% of people will get re-engaged and then you can just delete uh, the people that didn't and you can uh, also use a different autoresponder so sometimes for some reason some emails will uh, not get uh, opened if you're using a certain autoresponder okay so we will talk about the autoresponders in a second but for example sometimes i'm moving people from my active campaign to my aweber and all of a sudden they start opening okay so just try different autoresponders try to try a re-engagement campaign and you will uh, get some clicks from people that would otherwise uh, just got deleted and bonus number two i got for you is email unopened so guys whenever you are emailing whatever time you're emailing uh, at you can very easily double or even triple the amount of clicks you're getting from that same email by uh, just emailing unopens okay so an autoresponder will track all of the unopens so uh, if you're emailing every single day uh, let's say I emailed at 11 a.m. Eastern, I would email our opens after six to eight hours. So in, in, in the evening, I would just email all the people that didn't open that particular email again maybe i would switch up the subject line a little bit and i would repeat this three to four times depending on uh, my other campaigns but in a nutshell you can do this three to four times every six to eight hours uh, if you're mailing aggressively and you will easily double triple or even quadruple the amount of clicks you get from that same email so you don't have to prepare a whole new campaign you don't have to send another email just email unopens and you will just maximize the amount of clicks from uh, that particular email which is cool so guys i'm about to share my screen and i'm about to show you all of the campaigns that i'm running every single day but let me just remind you to subscribe to this channel uh, again if you are into making money online working from home traffic generation email marketing or anything else related to making money online or digital business please subscribe click on the bell like this video and right now let me share my screen let's jump into the next part of this video okay so the first question was which email autoresponder is the best so uh, let me share my screen and let me show you my own account so uh, the one that I'm using for the longest time is Aweber okay Aweber is great for uh, the make money online niche or the internet marketing niche I never had any issues with it but I'm actually using three different autoresponders at the same time so I'm using Aweber I'm using active campaign and I'm using keep uh, which is essentially Infusionsoft by Keep. So uh, I'm using these three all at the same time. If you are in a niche that is not affiliate marketing or not internet marketing or making money online, you can go with MailChimp or Constant Contact. But these are the ones that I'm using uh, for the internet marketing niche, which is the most cutthroat niche in the world. So these are uh, the autoresponders that I'm getting the best results with. I would definitely say Keep 
uh, is number one because I'm, I'm just getting the best results with it, the best open rates, but it's the most expensive as well. So for a list of 10,000 people, I'm paying probably $300 per month, okay? For the same list, I'm paying $70 on Aweber and $70 or $80 on active campaigns. So, uh, you know, you can pay for key if you're a professional. If you are only starting out, I would definitely go with Aweber. Uh, or again, this is for making money online uh, or the internet marketing niche. If you are in other niches, you can go with MailChimp or uh, literally any other autoresponder because they normally don't allow people that are in our niche. Uh, so in general, their open rates are pretty good. So now let me show you how I uh, target my list, how I do segmenting and how I uh, create my buyers list. Okay, so let me show you all of the uh, email lists I have in Aweber. So as you can see, I have probably how many 30, 40 different lists. So uh, the number one type of a list is just a, a list per product. So as you can see, this list is for my product 24 hour commission hustler. Uh, this one is actually for a challenge that I did five day challenge. Uh, siphon updates that's another one six minutes profits updates so this is a buyers list and six minutes free video this is for people that opted in for a free video so as you can see again in a nutshell you have a buyers list a freebie list a coaching list and uh, for each and every single product that i'm releasing i have a different uh, buyers list now i also have a list for my jvs for my affiliates so obviously when i'm sending emails uh, with different promotions i will not send them to my J list because these are affiliates just like me okay so they will just get pissed off and they would unsubscribe so very very uh, important when it comes to sending your emails as well uh, make sure to send the right emails to the right list if i'm not running a, a promotion selling my coaching which i normally do uh, with newer lists i just send the same email to all the lists but again i'm really paying attention to what emails i'm sending to what list let's go about automation so i told you everything there is to know about automating your emails let me actually show you the kind of automations that i have so i'm here in uh, active campaign uh, this is the autoresponder that I'm using for automations because uh, it's probably the best, okay? So Aweber and all the other ones have a few elements, but uh, this one is definitely the best. That's why I'm using for all new lists, okay? So uh, when someone subscribes, let me actually open uh, one of these automations and let me show you exactly how they work. So this is the automation that I built. Uh, and as you can see, so the first trigger is when someone subscribes to this list. So when they subscribe, as you can see, the first action is they uh, they get my email or the welcome email number one. OK, so this is the email that every single subscribers will get. Then uh, I wait for three hours and they also get the second welcome email. OK, so it's very, very important when someone subscribes to your list uh, for them to open your first email. And if they respond to your first email, uh, I mean, your open rates will just go through the roof from this point on. So I just really make sure in the email itself, I tell them, please reply to uh, this email. And if they didn't, the second welcome email will have the same exact thing. So I, I always tell my subscribers, please reply and I will send you a free gift. Now, uh, I used to reply manually to all the people that uh, used to reply to me and it was literally hundreds of people per day so it, it was taking me like an hour per day now from uh, for this automation as you can see i'm uh, waiting for one day and then if someone uh, replied they are getting uh, the bonus email number one with the bonus if they didn't reply they are getting another email reminding them of the free gift so as you can see all of this is automated it literally took me maybe 10 minutes to set this automation and uh, i don't have to send manual emails to hundreds if not thousands of people so again this is how all of this works it's pretty simple to set up uh, you can literally automate every single thing that you can think of uh, reply emails welcome emails uh, if someone does a particular action like they 
open the email or they reply or they don't reply you can uh, just add the correct automation and uh, just save time personalizing your emails again let me zoom out let me actually show you one of the emails that i've sent so for this email i'm promoting my five figure circle backhand coaching okay so in the subject line for this email i actually used the uh, product name so the product name was 4k in a day so the subject line is like is 4k in a day so the subject line says 4k in a day let me ask you something or something like this so as you can see uh, this is super super targeted because people just got this product okay thinking of mobile users again let me zoom out let me show you one of the emails i've recently sent so guys this is how pretty much all of my emails look like okay so for branding right here on top i have my banner so uh, you know this is art of marketing my brand and all of the emails are pretty much the same i never uh, use like super long paragraphs i use uh, maybe three lines and i have three lines of text then the link then some more text then the link in the ps and i always use an image on top and on the bottom so when people scroll through it on a computer or on a smartphone it always look you know nice and tight uh, i don't go uh, like on and on and on i don't you know people don't really have to scroll uh, through just pages and pages and pages of text and as you can see i'm using two links one right here uh, close to the bottom two close to the top one here in the ps like i told you i also have clickable images i used to have a third link right here in the middle of the email uh, you can use it or not but uh, again think about uh, how it will all look on a, a mobile and also if you would have a button as i already told you the button has to be big enough for them to actually click or tap on their mobile device so if it's too small they won't be able to tap on it so very very important killer subject lines we talked about this let me show you some real examples so guys these are the recent emails that i've sent from my keep account as you can see i'm getting six to seven percent opens on average okay so all of these three percent or four percent are from uh, sending emails to unopens so as you can see this email got six percent opens but because i've sent uh, the same email to unopens i got an additional three percent so it's a total of nine percent that's why you have to email your unopens but looking through here i have seven percent six percent seven six 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 eleven percent so this is one of the subject lines that i would definitely uh, use again and this is actually something that i'm using nothing to buy make mula doing x uh, so this is actually the same email that i'm sending over and over again if i have a free training video on youtube so so i know that this subject line uh, works great and i have this email saved it also it all always gets um you know a high, high percentage rate 11% uh, in this case i also have this one 10% live 60 second affiliate stores this is something that i will probably use again another one 10% we have 600 bucks daily app uh, i will definitely reuse it another one we have 11% last call for uh, my coaching so uh, you know I always, always, always track all of it. I keep all of the best subject lines and I reuse them. When to send your emails again, I'm not going to be showing you when because I already told you that I'm sending all of my emails as early as possible, 5 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Eastern, etc. And again, you're gonna have to figure this out for yourself and using a ps so again guys going back to my email right here as you can see i'm always using a ps and this is the uh, link that will get the most clicks so always in my ps i'm including a link to my blog okay so this is where i want people to go so the first link will be the link that goes directly to an offer that i'm promoting and this the link in the ps goes to my blog to my blog review uh, so this is how I normally do it. Always include a PS in your emails. Testing your emails before you send them, pretty self-explanatory. I don't have to really show you how to do this on my desktop. And saving your best emails and subject. We talked about this like twice already. Let me actually show you uh, my folder, okay? So right here in my email swipes folder, I have all of the best emails and I also have all of the best subject lines. So as you can see right here, I have all of these subject lines that 
always work so I can uh, reuse them whenever I want and I have full emails right here I can't tell you how many times I've used the same exact email to promote different products because this email is about how I hate websites I have another email about uh, how free traffic is amazing and I have another one about uh, is I am dead this is for flipping or arbitrage so in a nutshell these emails will work for any product that will uh, be correlated to this so you know something uh, that doesn't use a website uh, any product about free traffic or any product that is an arbitrage or flipping product cleaning your list this is something that i will actually show how to do so first of all let me go to aweber and to see exactly how to clean your list just go to subscribers and click on subscribers and you can actually figure out who is opening our emails and who doesn't. So we have a search option right here. Uh, let's go with no opens since, and let's say we want the past, uh, you know, few months. So no opens since this date. But another important thing is that if you're constantly adding people to your email list, you have to add another uh, search option here, and then you have to add date edit the date is before whatever you've set up here so let's say this was september so no open since the first of september date edit is before the first of september and let's click on search and as you can see we will probably get a few emails right here so i'm i'm having 56 emails right here that uh, I could probably delete right now. I won't be doing this right now, but this is how to figure out who is not opening and who is uh, who should stay on your list. Now, let me show you the same thing and keep. So actually, let me go to marketing reports because it's a little bit different and keep right here and let me go to email status search so here keep is very very cool because they actually show you uh, all of the leads that are confirmed unconfirmed marketable non-marketable uh, so let me show you these ones that you should always 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 delete okay so uh, all of these ones that reported spam provided feedback opted out opted uh, out by admin hard bounce soft bounce these are all the emails that you should uh, definitely these are the ones that you can clean once a week so as you can see 422 that i can delete right now hard bounce opt out opt out list unsubscribe so i could just delete them right now very very important to clean your list and the last one emailing unopens i already showed you uh, one example let me show you another one so let me go to aweber actually so let me just show you my two last emails so as you can see this is the one that i've sent yesterday 4.8 opens and then the same email 1.6 uh so far because i've sent it like an hour ago uh so as you can see you know instantly more opens more clicks uh, this one as you can see pretty much the same email pretty much the same uh, subject line five percent opens and then three and a half from unopens so you can literally double the amount of opens and double the amount of clicks just by sending your uh email to the people that didn't open it pretty uh, crazy right so these are the tips i got for you don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're into making money online working from home email marketing traffic generation it really really helps me out keep on coming back to this channel and right now let's see who won the 10 dollar giveaway from my previous video so this is my previous video make money online watching videos available worldwide 2021 so let me grab the url and let's go to youtube random comment picker let me paste in the url URL, filter out the duplicates and let's see how many comments we have we have 31 comments and right now let's pick a random winner we have Lionel Kanlas make money online uh, Lionel please uh, comment on your comment with your email and I will send you the $10 so do it right now congratulations if you want to win $10 in cash just like Lionel just did please like this video subscribe to the channel click on the bell and leave me a comment and I will be doing the giveaway for this video in my next one so make sure to watch the next video guys thanks so much for watching this video this one uh, was a little bit different all about email marketing uh, email marketing tips email marketing best practices for 2021 i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one ciao